okay right so now let's look at the effect of uh, increased uh, greenhouse gas emissions and human activities on the stress on fresh water supplies okay first of all do you know that only about 3% of Earth's water is fresh, the remaining 97% is actually found in our oceans. right? And out of this 3%, 99% of it is inaccessible. 69% is locked up in glaciers and ground ice, and 30% is in the form of groundwater, which is mostly inaccessible. So that leaves us with only less than 1% of water that is more easily assessed, which is in the lakes and the rivers. Now, so it is um, projected that many countries and many people around the world that by 2040, they are going to experience water stress. So this is how uh, increased greenhouse gas emissions and global warming further reduces our fresh water supplies. First of all, the intense heat will cause excessive water evaporation in many areas and so many reservoirs and aquifers around the world will dry up. Global warming will also alter precipitation patterns and hydrological systems. I will explain this in the next part. Okay, so it means that many areas around the world will experience pro prolonged droughts. Okay, and this further exacerbates the stress on fresh water supplies. Now, this is when I talk about glaciers. Okay. Glaciers are actually made up of fallen snow that over the years have compressed into large thickened ice masses. Okay, they actually grow and they actually move slowly. All right. And they are actually a source of fresh water. Okay, in the summer they will melt. So melt water from glaciers will actually uh, supply fresh water to villages and towns that uh, that are downstream to these glaciers. So people living in arid climates near mountains often rely on glacial uh, melt for part of the year. And since global warming will cause glaciers to shrink worldwide, it, this reduces meltwater supplies for these villages and towns. Now, in at high latitudes, um, there are some predictions that rainfall in high latitudes will intensify in the coming years. However, this does not necessarily translate to uh, good water quality. In fact, it is, it is projected that climate change will reduce the water quality uh, in these areas. Okay, Why? Because increased temperatures will um, make it more difficult for oxygen to dissolve in water so this water will have uh, less dissolved oxygen concentration thereby reducing its quality and the intense the increased heat will also increase algae blooms okay meaning an explosion in the growth of algae algae in the water so this also compromises the water quality now, and climate change is predicted to cause um, heavier rains and more intense rainfalls and more uh, frequent heavy rains in certain areas. Okay, and this will increase the levels of sediments, nutrients, and pollutants that will be found in our water sources. All right, and to areas that are prone to flooding due to climate change. Okay, the water treatment facilities may be compromised as well, further compromising the quality of water. So all this adds stress to our fresh water supplies. Okay, so in other words, heavy overconsumption coupled with poor rainfall because of climate change, okay, have ravaged our water resources and devastated 
agricultural output in countries worldwide. Okay, for instance, in South Asia, in areas such as Bangladesh, there have been massive losses of groundwater, which has been pumped up with lack, reckless lack of control over the past decade, largely for land irrigation for agriculture.